Well, Elon Musk is hitting the pause button on his $44 billion Twitter takeover. That's right. The billionaire and Tesla CEO tweeted this morning he wants more information behind Twitter's claim that less than 5% of its users are fake or spam accounts. Musk later tweeted, though, he was still committed to the acquisition. So for more on all of this back and forth, let's bring in CBS News tech reporter Dan Patterson. Hey, Dan, great to see you. I'm beginning to think that Elon Musk just likes to have people talk about him all the time. <laughs> like, is that what's behind all of this? Uh, well, you know, the chatter could cost him uh, quite a bit. I spoke with a source a, a few minutes ago, a Wall Street analyst uh, and tech analyst. And uh, this person told me that Wall Street now views this as, uh, quote, a boy who calls wolf scenario, that it's a circus and very unlikely that the deal goes through at the $54 uh, uh, valuation, that Musk is more likely not to take the $1 billion or pay the $1 billion penalty and walk away from the deal because the rest of the street just doesn't take him seriously. So, I mean, he, the fact that this is out there um, and this question of whether or not it's bots or it's, it's fake accounts, I mean, how much of that is, is real? Well, um, or how much of that is not real? Uh, so, look, it's it's one thing for him to say, you know, they're bot accounts, and this is causing me to rethink uh, my acquisition. But I, I mean, let's look at the facts, and the facts are that you can go back years, years. The New York Times in 2018 published a story about a company called Davumi. This company made it very easy for celebrities to buy fake followers. Uh, we, throughout the 2020 uh, election, we followed a, a site called Tweet Attacks Pro, which makes it, I mean, 10 bucks a month. You can buy Twitter accounts that will follow, unfollow. They will at reply. They'll do all sorts of things in an automated fashion. Twitter, uh, by their own admission, under Jack Dorsey's orders, uh, their trust and safety team up until about 2018, they would prune as many fake followers as possible. It was kind of a whack-a-mole game. So Twitter themselves were very uh, aware of the uh, inauthentic uh, account problem. But Dorsey kind of pulled them off after 2018, and these accounts continued to proliferate. So it's, it's one thing for, for Musk to be... Uh, wary of this, but it's another thing for him to say it's new information. Right. I was going to say, you would think that he would have known all about these bots long before this moment, right? We've been, we've been talking about these yeah. bots since 2016 exactly. in the election because it was, a lot of folks say it was crucial in uh, the numbers. That's yeah. Right. In fact, in 2020, uh, former President Donald Trump uh, used a counter, allegedly used a uh, software called Power 10. Uh, Power 10 was developed by his team to automate activity. So, uh, right, uh, in terms of mm. politics, uh, bots and automatic accounts on Twitter have mm. been uh, the name of the game. So, Dan, let's talk about what, what Elon Musk may be facing, because the Wall Street Journal is reporting that he is under investigation by the SEC for waiting too long to disclose that he bought more than 5% of Twitter's stock earlier this year. We all know that to be the case, right? So the Federal Trade Commission is also conducting its own investigation into that deal. Tell us why this is so important and could it impact the potential deal, the potential, uh, you know, ownership? Yeah. So by the SEC's own rules, uh, you have to disclose if you purchase more than 5 percent of a company. If you'll recall, Elon Musk started purchasing Twitter in late January. He didn't disclose until early April. At that point, he had about 9 percent of Twitter. So he just flouted the rules, something he does pretty often. Uh, he could be he could face pretty serious penalties from the SEC. What kind of penalties? Just monetary? Uh, well, it could be monetary. It could be more than that. We're kind of figuring out the details mm -hmm. of that right now. But I, I mean, Musk likes to flout the rules. Sometimes those rules come back and bite you. Yeah, but he's not the only one. That seems to be yeah. the rule of order now. No one follows the rules. <laughs> and there's really no re repercussions, if, if, as we've seen across many lanes. Yeah, well, more on that. Hold that thought. <laughs> Dan Patterson, thank you so much. <laughs>